In this video, I show you how to compress a video file without losing any quality. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And please do watch this video right until the end, so the full steps for this guide, and let's go and jump straight into this. Here we are on my computer, and here is an example of a video I went and compressed and the huge difference it made in the file size. As you can see, this one is originally 88 megabytes, and this video here is 2.35. What a huge increase. I believe that's about 40 times smaller. So now let's go and get exactly into this guy. To achieve this, I actually use a free program. So let's go and show you where you can go and get it and then how to fully use it and get this huge decrease in file size. So all you want to do is go and open up your browser and come to a search engine such as Google. Then all you want to do is go and search for something called Handbrake tool just like so and you want to make sure you come to the official website which is handbrake.fr and do keep watching and showing the full download process then all you want to do is either go and click on download handbrake or click other platforms if you want to go and check it out for mac as well then all you need to do is go and click on download just like so and you can also go and download older versions as well i'm going to go and download the new version so go and click download just like this and as you can see it's around 20 megabytes and it's now downloaded you then need to go and open up your file explorer down here to go to your downloads folder to go and find it or it will be in the bottom of your browser just like mine. Now all you need to do is go and open up this exe file and it's going to go and start the installer and all you need to do is go and follow the installation instructions. It's really simple and then it's going to be installed on your system and I'll see you then. So Handbrake should now be installed on your computer and you may have a desktop shortcut. I personally don't so if you don't all you want to do is come to the search icon down here, look like a magnifying glass, go and click on it and all you need to do is go and search for Handbrake break just like so and it's going to come up right that there so go and click on it just like this and it's going to go and launch it open so you either need to go and open up a folder with videos in or you can go and open up a single video file personally i'm going to go and tick this option here Personally, I'm going to go and open up a single video file and it's going to go and open up your file explorer. The video I want to go and convert is on my desktop and here it is. So I'm now going to go and click on open just like so. And as you can see, it goes and scans it and here we are in handbrake. So there are a few key settings you want to go and change. So the first thing you want to do is start at the top up here. You can go and change the present. Personally, this is the default one I've always used, 1080p by 30, but you can go and click on it and you can go and change it to any of these. As you can see, there are loads to choose from. So I personally keep it fairly simple, but you could go and do like a high quality one, but fast, honestly, it's gonna look absolutely fine. Then you can come down here and choose the format. So keep it on MP4, that's a really easy file to go and open. Then you can go and have it web optimized if you'd like. Um, it's just gonna make it more optimized for the web. For dimensions, you don't need to change that or filters. You can come along to video and then all you need to do is go and make sure the encoder is set to that one. That should be fine. Or you can use the video one. That's up to you. Leave the video encoder, but come down to frame rate. And what you want to do is go and click on this. And I recommend doing same as source as your source may have a higher frame rate than 30. Then all you want to do is change it to constant as well. So it remains constant the whole time. And there are the main settings. And all you want to do is come down to the bottom. So you've got save as. So go and click on browse and it's going to go and open up your file explorer. And I'm just going to go and put this onto my desktop just like so and name this compressed again, just like so as I've already compressed one on my desktop. There we go. I'm now going to go and click start encode and it's going to go and start the encoding process. As you can see, it goes and shows the percentage down here. So all you need to do is go and wait for this to finish. And once it's finished, it's going to go and say Q finish just like so. And then you can go and close off of handbrake just like this. So here is the before and after of the two clips I went and did. So as you can see, the original clip was 3 minutes, 30 seconds long and 67 megabytes in size. And the new clip, we'll go and hover over this one, was 3.30 and 30 seconds in length. And it's only 15 megabytes. So overall, I believe that's still around a four and a half times decrease, which is still really impressive. And it's all going to vary a little bit depending on the settings you use and as well as the video clip you're actually going compressing and just to add in as well the quality looks absolutely fantastic if you go and open up this video here as you can see it looks really clear and then if we go to the compressed version that also looks really clear as well but of course the best way to go and measure the quality for yourself is to go and try it out but in my opinion and i do use hammerick the whole time it barely affects the quality at all but if you found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel leave a like for more peace